I control the violence. <laughs> <laughs> I was in when they said, you want to make a Mickey Mouse game. But when they told me they'd gotten Oswald back, I, I, I lost it. I mean, I was done. I'm an old animation buff. I mean, I knew about Oswald before they mentioned him to me, which is kind of rare. And when they said, you're going to have the opportunity to present Oswald on screen in a new Disney story for the first time since 1928, I, I mean, what an honor. Oswald the, the Lucky Rabbit was Walt Disney's first cartoon star, and, and he, he predates Mickey, of course. He's such a rich character, if you look back at the old animation, it was so fun and so exciting. Oswald was different from other animated <laughs> film stars at that time. Those cartoons that Walt Love made were, they were little gems of storytelling. They weren't just a string of gags. Oswald would fall in love, have to deal with a rival, he would go to war, he would uh, he would do all sorts of things. He was way ahead of his time. You know, very quickly, the Oswald cartoons became among the most popular silent cartoons of the late 20s. Oswald was a big star. In the late 20s, after just about 18 months of prominence, Walt went to his distributor uh, to renew his contract and wanted more money to make better cartoons. I mean, even then, Walt was all about quality. And the distributor said, no, not only are we not gonna give you more, we're gonna take your staff, we own the rights to the character, check your contract, uh, and you're out of work. After losing that character, Walt went back to the drawing board, literally, and Mickey Mouse comes into being. And so, Mickey Mouse goes down a path of success no one saw it coming. Maybe Walt did, but you know, he is what he is. Everyone on Earth knows who Mickey Mouse is. And Oswald just kind of disappeared. There are all sorts of stories about how Mickey was created, but he was created only because the rights to Oswald had been lost. That's the tragedy of Oswald. Uh, he, he really was poised to be the most successful and popular cartoon star in the world. Uh, but uh, Mickey came along and uh, the rest is history. Shh. Oswald came back into the Disney fold in 2006, not to star in Disney Epic Mickey, but rather to serve as a catalyst for the game, because really he was the first forgotten character in Disney history. That's kind of the factual story. The sort of, the heart of that story though is, Oswald is Mickey Mouse's older brother. Uh, and Oswald looks at Mickey's success and just says, I was famous. You stole the life that should have been mine. We ran with that idea, not only playing with uh, his kind of sibling rivalry, the forgotten brother, but we also used him as a path for redemption for Mickey in his own arc, finding out that he had family that he had forgotten or didn't even know about, but then also trying to find his way through crafting this relationship once again <laughs> with this person that he didn't even know was family. <laughs> He's an emotional touchstone for, Mickey, for players. Uh, as you see Oswald change in the way he's responding to Mickey because of what the player is doing as Mickey, you can sort of gauge your progress. Oswald ultimately does re-engage with Mickey. Mickey does redeem Oswald. And that growing relationship is a measure of the player's progress. I love Oswald, and I want to make him a hero too. That's, you know, kind of goal 1.5 for this project. I remind people how incredible a character Oswald is and set him up for, for success as a cartoon star, as a plush toy, you know, you name it. I want Oswald everywhere because he deserves it. <laughs> so uh, just, just to, to show you how, uh, how cool it was being a part of this project, I mean, we, we dug through the archives uh, a bunch and uh, one day, one of the producers on the project found this, uh, which is, uh, as far as I know, the only time a Disney artist ever drew Mickey and Oswald together. Uh, it came from 1935, seven years after uh, Walt lost the rights to Oswald to Carl Emley's company, Universal. 
Uh, so I, I have this, this idea that somewhere Walt was saying, yeah, I'm going to send this nice friendly note to Carl, but really I'm thinking, you could have had Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Um, so, just to give you an idea of who he, who he was, I mean, this was a very early uh, Oswald cartoon. Really remarkable, remarkable sort of cartoons. You know what, if I show all of this, we're not going to get anywhere, so I'm going to, I'm going to skip ahead. Sorry. Hey, you, you could buy the Disney Treasure set and see Oswald for yourself, you know? Uh, oh, what a night. These, in fact, are cartoons that we used in the game as inspiration. So you can see uh, elements of these cartoons uh, when you play Disney Epic Mickey. But uh, you can see, I mean, one thing that you have to know about Oswald is he was always falling in love. Every cartoon he fell in love with a different, well, cat. We don't talk much about that. Or a rabbit. Uh, and in our game uh, together, we, uh, we, we you'll get to interact with their more than 20 buddy children. Okay, moving along. Uh, 